Hello, hello, my lovely nail divas. I got a video for you guys. This is another one stroke video for you guys. But now, in this video, I am going to be doing something a little different. Um, in this one, I'm going to be using my. Um, I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Stamping Gels. Um, those of you that have been watching me for a while know that I love these gels. These are some of my favorite. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do the gel is because sometimes acrylic, sometimes acrylic can be really hard for some people. And gel can be a lot easier. Um, I find that gel is easier in a way uh, than my acrylic. Uh, my acrylic paints because the only thing about my acrylic paint is they dry fast. The thing with gel is stamping gel that I'm using here or any kind of gel polish or gel that you want to use to one stroke with is that you have to cure in between layers. Now usually, which I'll have to explain this to you guys as I go because I know that um, it's a lot harder to keep it all in as I'm trying to explain it before I start but <laughs> anyways let me go ahead and get the colors that I'm using together and all I put them on is a just a metal little plate here you can use anything really you can use this little metal plate if you wanted to use anything that has like um, silicone you can still use parchment paper if you wanted to or you could use let's see if I can find it here um, I usually use this too like I use the back of this I just put my gels on it of course this is dirty right now sorry about that um, but I also use this as well for my gels. Here's the only issue that I have, guys, and I'm going to tell you. Whenever I'm using gel, sorry, my eyelash was stuck to that. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, whenever I do gel on these, the only issue that I have is my ring light. Whenever you have a small amount of gel or any gel that is opened underneath a ring light, it's probably going to cure your gels. So, usually what I do whenever I am doing gel, I set my gel over to the side away from my lamp because the closer your lamp is to your desk or whatever or your nail that you're doing or your plate, it will start to harden your gel. So be very careful and aware of that because you don't want to start painting and all of a sudden go to reach for your paint and it be... Um, it be hard. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get my dogs out of the room because they love to just like wander around mommy. I'm gonna use this today because it doesn't glare as bad in your eyes. Now you can use it like this, but I advise you to turn down your ring light as low as you can get it. That way it doesn't affect your paint. Okay, I've got mine turned down, but you can use this because I want you guys to see how I am mixing the paints together, how um, I'm using my brush, that way you can, I'm going to try to get as close as I can for you guys without going out of frame or going out of focus, because you guys know me, I tend to go out of focus sometimes, or out of frame. Um, a lot of times when you're using gel, um, you don't necessarily have to take off the tacky layer. I, um, I do. That way it does it because sometimes the tacky it depends on the tacky layer. If the tacky layer is like really thick, then yes, you want to take it off. If it's not too bad or noticeable, then you can just paint right over it. Um, it is okay to go ahead and matte these out as well if you wanted to. If you want to do matte, you can put a matte polish and make it matte. That's um, that's very well good too. But let me clean this off. I'm just going to spray it with my Nobility, and this is, I got this on eBay, and I think it was maybe, it's called a competition gel, but it's a gel cleanser is what it is. So I just take and spray a little bit, a little bit on a lint wipe, and I'm just going to, and it smells really good too, I'm just going to be taking this off. And see, it kind of mats itself out a little bit anyways. So it's not so bad. Just making sure it's pushed down. Um, the color I'm using is from Azure. 
I've been trying to use up these little bottles of polishes that I've got that I don't really use. Uh, but this one is 7004 if you're interested in that color. Alright, so I'm using pink, so we don't want to use a pink or a red because that's going to clash with the color. Let's do... I'm going to do... try this yellow and I'm going to used to doing but I am going to first of all I want to try this so I'm going to try this with you guys so this is a new technique um, that I haven't tried so which I love to experiment and play around but I'm going to do that with you guys in the middle there. for five seconds and that it'll hold that gel in place you don't have to do a full cure just five seconds five to I don't know sometimes I do like seven seconds five seconds ten seconds and then you just pull it back out and it's ready it's ready to paint on top of again but you want to make sure that you're getting your gel as flat as you can get it if possible because what's going to happen is if you have a big lump of gel polish when you go to top coat it it's going to stick out from the from the top which is going to stick out some anyways because it's gel but the flatter you can get it the better it is um, I do have a little bit of acetone in a little dampened dish here because in between you're going to be cleaning off your brush so um, if you want to make sure you got that ready as well that before I got started but you know me guys I get sidetracked very easily but I'm just gonna clean off that little brush okay so all right let's get started here so this is ready to go I probably should have come over this way a little bit more because that way this too close to the edge but that's okay too so I'm just gonna clean my brush with the acetone so I am going to take my brush and I'm just going to pull down in between these colors. Now see, you can see that it's not as pigmented on that yellow, but that's okay. And it's okay because all you got to do is just take a little bit of white, mix into it like this. And I am going to put just a little bit of white right here in case I need it. Take your brush, mix it up. Okay, so I've got my brush. You always want to keep the lighter color on top, okay? And that's the same as with if you're using acrylic uh, paint as well, okay? Lighter color always goes on top. Now you can put the darker color on top. I mean, that's not a big deal. I have done that before. 
but um, majority of the time I do keep the lighter coat on top. I'm going to start from here. Sometimes it helps to have lines because that way you know where to stop. And I'm going to go about right here. Okay. I'm going to try to hold my brush to the side here so you can see. Let me get just a little bit closer. If it blurs out, guys, I'm very sorry. I hope this is close enough for you guys to see. Okay, so I've got it here. I'm going to go one, two, and on the third note, I'm just going to start pulling, okay? swaying back and forth and then when I come over here I'm going to start turning my brush and I'm going to pull down like that okay did you see that one more time I'm going to go one two and start pulling and then I'm going to start twisting and I'm going to start like that okay I'm going to cure that. Now, depending on how pigmented your paints are and your gels, sometimes you can get away with once going over it once. But if your paint is not very pigmented, you probably need to do it twice. Okay, so I am going to pick up some more paint one more time. When I'm saying picking up paint, what I'm doing is I'm going back over these paints. I'm going to load my brush up again, okay? So pull, and you're going to pull, all right, and once again, I'm going to go one, two, three, on the third note, I'm just going to start pulling it, swaying back and forth, because it's blending those colors in, just like that. I'm going to dip into my yellow. Actually, I'm going to dip into the white first. White. Dip into white. Dip into the yellow a little bit. And I am going to dip into this dark pink color. Pull that down. thing about gel it doesn't matter really where you start at you can always fix it and I'm going to do one more time I'm going to I'm trying to hold my brush to the side so you can see but now if I was doing this like without holding it to the side I'd be like one two three and I would just pull take your time you don't have to be fast at it
to start like right here in the crease where these two flowers ended that's where I'm going to start my new petal I'm going to start here and I'm actually going to end right here okay and I think what I'm going to do is add a lot of this this white because sometimes when painting you want to make um, your colors a different color because that way you can you can differentiate between each petal do you understand what I'm saying like sometimes using the same color can cause it to um, blend in together like it's not going to be as in, you can't notice it as well let me get some more white actually going to um, add just a little bit more white and I am actually going to come down below here I'm going to put some of the red on here too okay and I'm going to pull down from there I'm going to lighten it even more
that is what I came up with. Um, like I said, I love using gels. Gels just blend a lot easier, I feel like. Um, I love both. I love my acrylic and I love my gel. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed this very much so. Um, and I hope that you're learning from these. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be more than glad to help you guys in any way that I can. So, but yeah, anyways, guys, go ahead and hit that like button down below. That tells me that you will love my videos. And go ahead and subscribe because it's totally free. Why not? And I just want to say thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye.